My eyelashes are sweating. This is called the surgeon fish. There's a little bit of breeze. Check this out. What's up everybody? This is called the surgeon fish or a tank fish. One of my favorite fish to shoot. They run so fast and they hide so quickly if they see you, so you have to be sneaky to catch them. I had to dive and hide behind the rock uh, so the fish can't see me. And then I waited for him and just peeked my head out to see him and then waited until I saw one of them shot it. But we'll try it and fillet it and fry it and see if it tastes any good. How about to fillet this guy? If you didn't know, tank fish, did you, did you know, did you watch the movie Finding Dory? This is the same fish, or not the same fish, the same species. Those are both called tank fish, but Dory would grow a lot smaller than this one. This can grow a lot bigger than this. So that's the difference between them. And now we're gonna clean them up and throw them in the fryer. Now it's time to clean this fish up. And what I'm gonna do first is just remove this guy first. And just make a long cut. Just like that. And go into the head because there's a lot of meat into the head. It's got really tough skin. So it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit harder to cut the skin compared to other fish. There we go. Let's go. A sharp knife would help doing this. Let's cut all the way and then grab this. Just fill it in your fish. There we go. See? Let's go over the backbone. Go over your rib cage, the rib cage bones. You can cut through the rib cage bones if you want to, but uh, I like to just go over it because um, the knife I'm using is kind of flimsy. So we really would we'll do a great job cutting the flesh, but it wouldn't really clean the, uh, wouldn't really cut through bones very well. So just do this. And we'll have your fillet in no time. This fish is full of fat. It's real fat. I'm gonna clean, clean those guts up so it doesn't get everywhere on my fillet. Now I'm gonna skin it. I'm just gonna cut like this. Leave a little piece of meat so you can grab it. And the skin, as I said, is so tough you don't have to worry really about poking the skin or cutting the skin. You just pull, pull as hard as you can. There you go. And just make sure you remove every piece of skin. That's a beautiful fillet. This is the skin. Oh, it's got some pin bones here, so I'm gonna remove that. Let's remove all the pin bones with the bloodline. It's got a small bloodline. Not too terribly. I left a piece of skin over here. This is where I shot it. Right here. So I'm gonna remove that too. Remove the bloodline and the pin bones and give it to the crabs. There you go. Nope. It's really hard. The skin is tough again. Hard to uh, cut it. All crab food. And those are my 
for this. Just make sure I clean it, clean it up a little bit. I have no skin left on it. And that looks good enough. Meat looks good, firm. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Okay guys, those are my fillets. I removed the skin and now I'm going to cut them in portions like this. About this big so they fry quicker. And then I'm going to put some spices on them. And then I'm going to put them in the fryer. But before that, I'm going to show you Guys, look at this. It's so hot. I can't leave this meat out for too long because it's going to go bad in this heat. And I have here some french fries that I cut earlier. I'm going to put some spices in that, go on that, on those pieces of meat. And then put them back in the refrigerator until I finish frying those uh, fries because it's so hot. It'll ruin the meat so quickly. This is my fish. I'm going to add some salt. And some spices. And then just mix it up. After everything gets mixed up, I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator until my fries are finished. And then I'm going to get it out and throw it in the fryer because in this heat, It'll go bad so quickly. Quicker than you think. I think my oil is ready now. I'm gonna throw one fry in here and taste. Oh yeah, it is more than ready. It is scary ready. It's too ready. Okay guys, I think my fries are ready. It's time to take them out. And put them on some paper towels, just to get any excess oil out. That's the fish right here. It's been marinating for maybe 20 minutes. And put it on there. See, I turned the fire down a little bit. The fish doesn't require uh, a lot of heat on the fryer, oh, uh, otherwise it'll burn very quickly. So I'll put all the fish in there. I don't have a lot of fish today. It's only me here today, so I'm going to put all the, all the fish in there. I think it's going to be enough. I think that wouldn't cool the oil down. That's the last piece. Guys, I think today is my lucky day. Look at this. Found this heart or strawberry looking plate while I was digging for a plate to put my food in. So I'm gonna transfer all my uh, french fries or potatoes in here. And then I'm gonna add my fish on top of that. It looks nice, doesn't it? Doesn't look like it came out of the beach camp. I'm gonna just put a little bit of salt on those fries. Not terribly much. That's about it. Then I'm gonna, add, I'm gonna add my fish on top of that. I think my fish is ready. It's more than ready. I'm gonna take it. Oh yeah, it's nice and crispy. Put it over here so it sucks all down oil out and this is my plate now I put all the fish on there and now I'm gonna put some ketchup on top of it and for the heat this dangerously hot pepper Guys, it's so hot here in this kitchen. I'm gonna take the food outside and eat outside. My eyelashes are sweating. All right, let's take the food outside. I found this small shade over here. This 
is where I'm going to sit down. So at least outside, there's a little bit of breeze. Check this out. Crispy on the outside. Beautiful white meat on the inside. Nothing, nothing is better than this. It doesn't get any better than that. That was worth it. It was worth suffering this heat. It's so good. And the fish is all over the carcass that I throw over there. That makes me feel good. Guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, subscribe, and I will see you next time.